Hello friends and welcome back to the lab. Today we will be learning how to run AI large language models locally on Mac OS using Olama, meaning you can harness the power of AI for free. In this tutorial we will explore how to chat directly with large language models right within inside the terminal. And then to demonstrate how you can interact with local LLMs using Python, we'll create a simple program that uses Olama and live stock data to generate a daily stock report. This tutorial is for demonstration purposes only. I am not responsible for your stock trading decisions. Before we begin, make sure you subscribe so you never miss a future episode. If you're a business seeking AI technical support, check out the description below. I'll also include a link of step-by-step -step instructions and today's code. Now let's get started. Start by going to olama.com and then click download, download for Mac OS. Go ahead and unzip Olama, open, and move to applications. Great, Olama has now been added to our applications on the Mac system. Next, install. Go ahead and click finish. We're not gonna run Llama. Instead, we're going to go back to olama.com and look at the different models available. We go back to olama.com, click models, and here we can see different models that we can pull into Olama to run locally on our Mac. For this demonstration, we're going to use Mistral. It's fast, lightweight, and in my opinion, works quite well. To install Mistral on Olama, all we have to do is open up Terminal and type in Olama pool Mistral. Hit enter. And then it's going to pull down the Mistral file. In this case, 4.1 gigabytes. Okay, Mistral is finished downloading. Now we can chat with it. Type into the terminal, Olama run Mistral, enter. Give it a few seconds to boot up. Then we can ask it a question like, where is Badlands National Park? Badlands National Park is located in South Central South Dakota, USA. For those who have not been to South Dakota or the Badlands, it is really neat. Let's ask it another question. Why is the sky blue? The blue color of the sky is primarily due to a process called Raylene scattering. I just want to emphasize Olama is running locally on the CPU in this computer without using the internet. This 4.1 gigabyte magical file probably knows more than you and I combined. Now let's create a Python program that uses Olama and livestock data to create a daily stock report. But first, let's take 30 seconds for today's sponsor. Today I'm making fresh eggs from free walking hens. I found these eggs locally with an app I invented called Yumfar. If you're concerned about where your food comes from and what's being put into it, check out yumfar.com. It's the largest database of local food sources, such as farms, farmers markets, CSAs, and more. To support this channel and prioritize your own personal health, check out yumfar.com for local healthy food. Mmm, so good. You can use whatever editor you would like. I'm going to work with Visual Studio Code. Start by opening up the terminal in Visual Studio. Type in Python 3. So we're going to create a virtual environment. Then we'll activate the environment. All right, the virtual environment is activated. Now we can install a library for getting live stock data. We use pip install Y Finance as well as requests. Once the Y Finance library and other dependencies have been installed, we can create our Python program new file, stockreport.py. I've pasted in the code and here's how it works. We bring in Y Finance to get the stock data. We're going to be tracking these stocks, Apple, Microsoft, Nvidia, Amazon, and Tesla. We'll use the Y Finance API to download the stock data for the last 24 hours of these stocks. And then we're going to generate a prompt, generate a short report on these stocks for the past 24 hours. And then we'll include the different stocks and their data. We'll print out the prompt so we can see what's going into the LLM. And then we're going to use the request library to make an HTTP request to Olama, which is running on localhost port 11434. We're going to select the Mistral model and we're going to send it our prompt. Make sure that you turn stream off or else it's going to try to send one chunk at a time and it's just gonna screw it up. Then once the LLM processes the information and generates a response, it'll come back to us. We'll parse the JSON file and we'll pull out the response. We're going to print out the report in the terminal screen and then save it as a text file. Let's give it a shot. Go ahead and hit play. It may take a few seconds for Y Finance to get all the data. I can hear the fans on my computer turning on 
it's really cooking. Wow, there it is. All right, so Mistral running on a llama using live stock data just generated us a stock report. And here it is. That's pretty cool. Now, to make this a little bit more useful, let's put it on what's called a cron tab. So it'll run every day at the same time and then have it send us a notification using Telegram. To send this report via Telegram to my cell phone, we only need to add two lines of code. From Telegram, import send message and send message. Let's give it a shot. Ooh, there it is. Wow. Here's a summary of the stock performance for the past 24 hours. Right to my phone. Now the last step is to add this to cron tab. So this will run every day at let's say 6 a.m. Open up a new terminal window and then type in environment editor equals nano cron tab dash E and then copy and paste in the command to run the program, then press control X. Now every day at 6 a.m. my computer will generate a stock report of the last 24 hours using artificial intelligence and then send that report to my cell phone using Telegram. In tomorrow's video we'll learn how to use Telegram and send messages using Python. If you enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a future episode. Let me know down in the comments what projects you're working on and as always be creative and build something awesome.